Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you the difference between Insert Edit and Overwrite Edit in Premiere Pro. I'm in CC 2020, uh, doesn't really matter what version you're in, this dates back way back when. This should be the same way, way into the future with Premiere. So uh, real quick, Insert, Overwrite Edit, what's the difference? Uh, insert, now I'm gonna show you this in a second, but Insert, when you do the insert edit, it's gonna push everything down in your sequence. When you do the overwrite, it leaves everything in place and just overwrites the clips that are already there. So if there's anything you currently have patched to V1 to V1 and you overwrite, it's just going to paste over top of that. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, I have a sequence here. I have my endpoint set over here and my source side. Let's set it in, let's set it out. And um, I have this, uh, over in my sequence, my endpoint is set between these shots here. If I do the insert edit, the comma key, or this little icon right here, hit the comma key or click this icon, it pushes everything over in my timeline. Um, if I have a music track, like in this uh, situation, that's gonna break that music track um, up and that's probably not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control Z to undo that. So it's something you may wanna do if you're using the overwrite edit and you have something like a, a music track at the, at the very bottom. Go ahead, lock that track, and then when you do the uh, insert edit, the comma key, that'll keep that track, that, that one music track that you locked, that'll keep that together. Then you can unlock it and then keep working. Uh, so the, um, the overwrite edit, uh, that pastes over whatever you have, like I explained a second ago. So right now, um, V1 to V1 and A1 to A1, and let's just zoom in close, and when I hit the period key, uh, or click this button, the overwrite uh, edit button, uh, that pastes over what was already there. So I had this you know, shot here that was green, and the audio too that was green, and when I when I pasted that in, when I did the overwrite edit, it overwrote what was in my sequence. So something that I typically do, how I typically edit, um, is I do do the overwrite edit the vast majority of the time if I don't necessarily know my timing or if I'm trying to put it in between things. But what I'll do is I'll patch um, my source side stuff to tracks where there is nothing um, happening. Uh, so here I'm gonna patch uh, my V1 source to V3 sequence and uh, A1 source to A3 sequence. Go ahead, do my overwrite edit, hit that period key. And now when I pasted it in, uh, it, it, was, uh, it wasn't destructive. I didn't destroy any frames and you're not destroying any frames, but you know, you're not overwriting anything. And now I can go in, uh, lock that music track, hit the A key, select all these things, slide it all over if I want to. Um, and then, you know, uh, readjust where my clip is that I just overwrote into the sequence. So I hope that made sense. I hope I was succinct enough to uh, explain the insert edit versus the overwrite edit in Premiere. If you have any questions, have any extra uh, uh, tips or thoughts that you have, uh, please leave them below in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear them. Um, always learning just like you guys. So uh, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find it. And remember, subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you see the new videos when they come out. And I'm going to get some water and see you guys around in the next video. All right.